Thank you, President, Commissioner and colleagues. It's safe to say that all Iranians are repressed and live in a culture of state-inflicted violence every day. This sad reality of the Islamic Republic must not be overshadowed by the negotiations on the nuclear issue on which a new round starts early next week. In fact, for those who believe that change in Iran must and will come from the Iranian people themselves, human rights are a strategic issue and can never be traded in a zero-sum game in relation to the nuclear program. This House highlights the situation of ethnic minorities specifically today. Minorities in Iran continue to be discriminated against and harassed. Peaceful demonstrators are imprisoned, imprisoned after trials that do not meet any international standards, and the treatment of prisoners in Iran is well known across the world for its harshness. Torture, rape and executions are common practice, practices we continue to, to condemn based on our belief in the universality of human rights, but more importantly, we urge the Iranian authorities to stick to their own commitments as stated in their constitution. Non-Persian women face double discrimination as members of marginalized communities and as women in Iran, facing laws that specifically limit their rights. We urge the Iranian authorities to free all activists who are currently imprisoned for their peaceful advocacy of minority rights and to respect the right of ethnic minorities to use their languages in private or public and in particular to guarantee education in these languages in accordance with the constitution of the Islamic Republic of Iran.